My name's Tim Cordell, National Umpire in Chief for U-Triple-S-A Baseball, and welcome to this week's training video. This play is very out of the ordinary, beginning with the batter runner taking a very non-traditional path to first base. The batter runner does not run straight down the line. Some people might think that the batter runner should be called out for being out of the baseline. Any runner is out when he or she runs more than three feet away from his or her base path to avoid being tagged, unless his or her reaction is to avoid interference with a fielder fielding a batted ball. Remember, a runner's base path is established when the tag attempt occurs and is a straight line from the runner to the base he or she is attempting to reach safely. To call a runner out for running out of the baseline, there must be possession of the ball by the fielder and a tag attempt. Neither happens in this play. The runner is running legally according to out of the baseline rules. The batter runner is not running outside of the baseline. But doesn't the batter runner have to run inside the runner's lane? The answer is no. The exception for the batter runner running outside the runner's lane is that he or she may run outside the three-foot line or inside the foul line to avoid a fielder attempting to field a batted ball. The runner is running legally to first base as the runner has not ran outside the baseline and does not need to be inside the runner's lane because of avoiding a fielder in the act of fielding. So what about interference by the batter runner on the fielders attempting to field the batted ball? It is interference by a batter or runner when the runner fails to avoid a fielder who is attempting to field a batted ball. A runner who is adjudged to have hindered a fielder who is attempting to make a play on a batted ball is out whether it's intentional or not. If the umpire declares the batter batter runner or a runner out for interference, all other runners shall return to the last base that was in the judgment of the umpire legally occupied at the time of the interference. The penalty for interference, the runner is out and the ball is dead. Now that we know the rules, let's watch the play again. Remember, the runner is not running outside the baseline as the fielder is not in possession of the ball and a tag attempt never happens. The runner is not running illegally by not running in the runner's lane. Is the runner can leave the runner's lane or not run in the runner's lane to avoid a fielder in the act of fielding the ball. And finally, interference. This is not interference. Is the batter runner does not hinder the fielder's attempt to field the batted ball. This is a live ball and a catch in and out. For quick answers to 450 plays just like this play, visit us at rulereference.com. For $12 a year, the user gets a search engine that's desktop and mobile friendly to look up rules on the fly. The search engine is very user friendly and simple to use, allowing coaches to look up rules in a very quick amount of time. Get the answers you need right away. For $1 a month, give yourself the peace of mind and your team the advantage it needs. Visit us at rulereference.com. Thank you for watching this week's training video. Please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a great week of baseball.